Today, we will discover how to find the area of a trapezoid. Let's first look at the area of a rectangle. Remember that the area of formula for a rectangle is base times height. A rectangle has the same measurements for the top and the bottom compared to the left and the right. Top and bottom here are 17, the left and right are 10. So therefore, I can definitively say that the base is 17, the height is 10, and the area is 170 units. But what happens when one of the bases is a different length? This creates what's called a trapezoid. A trapezoid has one set of parallel sides. The other two sides, the left and the right, if they were to go on forever, they would eventually touch. When I notice that one base is different than the other base, my math is now irrelevant. When I have a 13 unit and a 17 unit, I'm looking in the middle because 13 would be too small and 17 would be too big. So I've drawn a line in the middle of the trapezoid. I find that the center is the length of 15. However, it's not always going to be this easy to just count where the middle is. There are other ways to find the middle of the two bases. One way is to list out the numbers in consecutive order. That's only if the number gap is small. In this case, it's pretty small. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What's in the middle? 15. But that's probably not going to be easy to do if you had to list out 100 numbers. So another way to do this is to find the average of the two numbers. If I take 13 and 17 and add it together, I get a total of 30. Well, 30 is too big, but we can cut that in half and find that the middle, or the average, is 15. So the average of my two bases of 13 and 17 is 15 units. Going back to the idea of base times height, we are going to look at the height of the trapezoid. We never, we never changed or adjusted the height, so it's going to stay 10 units. However, we did find the middle of 13 and 17, which is 15. That would be the middle or the average base. So 15 times 10 gives me 150 units squared. Let's look at that again. We're going to go ahead and adjust the trapezoid, make it a different size. Again, you can see the top base and the bottom base are different measurements, so we need to find the average. First, I'm going to look at the bottom base, find out what length it is. And then I'm going to do the same on the top. So here I get 19 units on the bottom and 15 units on the top, but again, we need to find the average. Identify the height as well, remembering that we're looking for that straight up and down, that right angle at the bottom, so we're not using anything slanted. If I'm looking between 15 and 19, hmm, well, let's try to find the average. We can add them up. and get an average of 17. I'm going to go back to the shape and actually show you that right here in the middle we have 17 units. So 15 is too small, 19 is too large, but 17 is a great average base. So if I take 17 times 10, I will get 170 units. So the area formula for a trapezoid is taking one base plus the other base and dividing that by two, again that's finding the average, then multiply that times the height. Really all you need to know is base one, base two, and the height. You can plug in what you know and solve. Another way that you will see this formula written is one half of base one plus base two times the height. It's the same thing. 
you can you you're adding up the bases and you're dividing them by two, or you're adding up the bases and finding half. Same math, just written different ways. I want to try the example written this way. A equals one half b one plus b two times h. Let's identify each one of the measurements. There's base one. Here is base two. And the height. So we're going to find the average, or half of, 16 and 6. Plugging in each of the numbers and working on order of operation, we will do the 6 plus 16 first, which is 22. Then we find half of 22, which is 11. And 11 times 10 is 110 units squared. Here's another example with the B1 plus B2 divided by 2 over times H. Each measurement has been identified in a different color. We fill them in and do the math. 20 plus 12 is 32. 32 divided by 2 will give me 16. And 16 times 8 is 128 centimeters squared. Now let's try with the other formula, or the formula written the other way. They are the same mathematically, they just look a little different. But you're going to do the same thing. You're going to identify the three pieces, the base one, base two, and height. You're going to find the average of the bases, and then multiply it times the height. Let's go ahead and find B1. Now again, this parallel, or this trapezoid is actually turned, but you can still see the parallel bases are 11 and 17. Also, hopefully you were able to identify 5 as the height, and remember that the side measurement where it is slanted is not the height. Filling in your answers, filling in all of the measurements, we have 11, 17, and we have 5, each of which are color-coded so that you can see where they came from. We're going to find area equals half of, parentheses first, 28, times 5. What is half of 28? 14 times 5, so area gives us 70 centimeters squared. So let's remember, here's our takeaway for the day. Area equals 1 half of B1 plus B2 times height. Find the average of the bases and multiply it by the height. Identifying different colors will help you make sure you get the right measurements. Also, another way to look at it is that area is B1 plus B2 divided by 2 times the height. The math is the same. Average times height.